overflows, enlightenment and other paths. Enlightenment is simple yet unique blossoming. However, each considers that it is beyond the reach of ordinary person. It is not so. Indeed, it is not only simple, instead unseasonal blossoming of flowers. And once the flower starts blossoming, the process never ceases. Once one is leading a life normal, natural and spontaneous, out of that emerges enlightenment. Although the concept of enlightenment does not exist directly in Sufi Tariqat, as it exists in the path of Buddha, yet it exists in a discrete way. One with deep perception and understanding can find this. Sufi Tariqat focuses on drop merging into the ocean as the beginning. This means the Murid is so much in love with the Sheikh and dedicated that his individuality merges in Sheikh's oceanic presence. This state is known as Fana Fuel Sheikh. As the state continues, gains momentum and reaches to such a level that Sheikh whose energy field is oceanic, lends its qualities to the drop. This is referred to as ocean becoming drop. Ocean is vast and unfathomable. As a result, it can merge into drop qualitatively. This state is referred to as Fana Fuel Murid. These act as two shores of the river of awakening or Tawajjo to flow. As the river of Tawajjo flows, it forms a river bed. This river bed with two shores near and far comprise the boundaries, of, boundaries for Tawajjo to flow. This whole two shores near and far, flowing Tawajjo and riverbed, maintaining the flow is collectively known as enlightenment. Then ego has vanished and the seeker simply flows with the awareness deep within. Let thy will prevail. This state is known as Baka bi Ullah, Baka bi Allah, living by divine will. Sufism flows between Fana and Baka. These are the two states Fana and Baka. I spoke of Satori according to Zen path. Indeed, Sat Satori is a small window into the vastness of the existence. It is as if you are visiting a new place. It is cold winter night. You have arrived your hotel room. You are anxious to look outside, but it is cold and dark. So you look through the glass of the window to get outside glimpse. You see only the framed outside view, not the vast open sky. This is temporary, only one-sided view. This is known as mini satori a small window into the vastness of the existence. One mini satori can explode into another or major experience. Or you may need 
tens or hundreds of thousands of such small experiences to explode in a larger experience. Sometimes hundreds of mini satori's happen before you become alert and things get established in you. A mini satori is a small vision and with a satori the vision has become your very style. And then what is Samadhi? In Mini Satori, you get only a glimpse. A Satori happens when you have become full of light inside. Still there is a separation between you and the whole. You and the whole. A Satori is a state of person becoming enlightened. When Satori gets crystallized, your inner space is full of light. This crystallized state of inner light is the beginning of enlightenment. The crystallization of inner space is full of light. This crystallization of inner state as full of light is the near shore of Samadhi. However, Samadhi happens when the other shore too is found and not only your inner incandescence guides your emotions, intelligence and intellect Instead, the whole existence has become enlightened through you. Let me repeat this again. However, Samadhi happens when the other shore too is found. And not only your inner incandescence, inner lamp, guides your emotions, intelligence and intellect, Instead, the whole existence has become enlightened through you and guides you. Now the person is no more separate. This is the meaning of the very strange statement of Buddha that the day he became enlightened, the whole existence became enlightened along with him. This is the experience. When you are happy, you see happiness all around. Happiness surrounding you in the whole atmosphere. You will find the people are very happy and joyous. On the contrary, if you are saddened, then you will find everyone is sad and not happy. So this is the statement of Buddha which is very relevant and this is the experience of almost everyone. Buddha said the day he became enlightened the whole existence became enlightened with him. It is a very it is very strange because we know that we have not yet become enlightened. Yet he says that the whole existence becomes enlightened, that the whole existence became enlightened that day, the day he experienced enlightenment. Enlightenment is, ex is that everything is in the process of blossoming. Some has blossomed today, Others will blossom another day. It is said that looking at the gardener coming to the garden, the birds are talking to themselves. All those that have been blossomed will be picked up today. And those who will blossom tomorrow, their turn will come tomorrow. So it is a continuous process, just as you have a, a plant 
you plant it you can see it around you the process the season of spring has come flowers has started blossoming so a few buds open today the others have not yet opened that does not mean that they will not become flower they are their process of opening is continuously happening but you cannot envision it you cannot capture that what is happening to the buds tomorrow it will open a little more day after tomorrow it will open a little more and then one day it blossoms fully such is the process of enlightenment <clears throat> Each moment, as you are living a natural and spontaneous life, something is blossoming in you. But this process of blossoming is so small, infinitesimal, that your camera, your vision, your understanding cannot capture it. Only a gardener. Gardener, I would put it as the enlightened one who knows the process of blossoming of the flowers. He knows that this bud will blossom tomorrow. Tomorrow this bud will blossom and then you can get a fresh flower tomorrow. Sometimes when you go to a garden to collect, to buy the flowers, so you get a certain amount and you tell the gardener, I need tomorrow also some flowers. He said, do not worry. Tomorrow I will have some buds opening and I have seen them that they will be opening tomorrow and it, they will be ready for you. Such is the process of enlightenment. Every moment something is happening in you, you are coming closer and closer to the final, uh, the quantum explosion of enlightenment in you. But it is at in such an infinitesimal way that your cognition cannot capture it. But Buddha, with his inner vision, knows this person is on the verge of blossoming, on the verge of enlightenment. That is why I say enlightenment is very simple yet unique happening. It is simple that it can happen any moment. It can happen to anyone, but it is unique in the sense it happens in a certain way. When you are living a spontaneous, natural life, guided by your innerness, then it becomes easy and that's why it is unique enough for now.